Stay Close finally premiered on Netflix on New Year's Eve, December 31, with viewers kicking off 2022 by binging the show. The Harlan Coben adaptation has left viewers with some major questions following the finale. On top of fans' minds, while watching the show was just who killed Carlton Flynn, Connor Calland. After eight intense episodes, all the secrets came to light, and the killer's identity was finally revealed. The case actually spanned more than 17 years, with Broom, played by James Nesbitt, connecting the murder of Carlton to his case from years prior. Having been obsessed with a series of disappearances that took place nearly two decades ago, he realized that the Carlton case was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon after, with the help of his ex-wife Erin, Joe Joyner, Broom soon started to discover that more people had gone missing from Viper's nightclub during a night out. At the end of the penultimate episode, Ray, Richard Armitage, confessed to the murder of Stuart Green, Rob Hunt, though Broom remained unconvinced. Ray proceeded to get away, leaving Broom and Aaron to continue to look for clues. Their search took them to a hatch in the middle of the woods, one which led to the disturbing discovery. Inside the hatch lay the bodies of the missing men, all piled up and left to rot. During the final episode, Broom was told that there were 15 bodies at the site, but none of them could be Stuart or Carlton due to the length of time they had been down there. Ray was finally apprehended, but he requested to speak to Megan, Cush Jumbo, before confessing to the police. He revealed to Megan that he knew she killed Stuart 17 years ago and that he saw her running through the woods. However, Megan told him that she had received a message to meet Ray in the woods, only to find Stuart already dead by the time she arrived. Because Ray thought she was the killer, he chopped up the body and dumped it in the nearby river to protect the love of his life. This explained why Stuart wasn't one of the bodies in the hatch. Back in town, Broom released Laurie Ann, Sarah Parrish, from prison, only to drive her home to make a shocking discovery. Lorraine was finally revealed to be the killer, as Broom found Ken dead at her place. Lorraine, holding a blood-stained knife, explained that she was abused by her first husband and decided to be judge, jury, and executioner to men that abused women in Vipers. Broom was understandably shocked, as he and Lorraine had been dating throughout the show. However, the final twist of the show came when the truth behind Carton's disappearance was revealed. Carlton had chased Kaylee, Bethany Antonia, into the woods the night of his death, only for her to smack him with a shovel and get away. Calling her father for help. He decided to dump Carton and his car into the lake, concealing the accidental crime and protecting his daughter. With that, the case was finally solved, proving to be the end of a two-decade-long hunt for Broom.